Now, although these and all other such unexpected and marvelous works were wrought among and seen by you at different times, yet you are convicted by the prophets of having gone to such a length as offering your own children to demons. And besides all this, of having dared to do such things against Christ, and you still dare to do them, for all which may it be granted to you to obtain mercy and salvation from God and his Christ. For God, knowing before that you would do such things, pronounced this curse upon you by the prophet Isaiah. Woe unto their soul! They have devised evil counsel against themselves, saying, Let us bind the righteous man, for he is distasteful to us. Therefore they shall eat the fruit of their own doings. Woe to the wicked! Evil according to the works of his hands shall befall him. O oh, my people, your exactors glean you, and those who extort from you shall rule over you. O oh, my people, they who call you blessed cause you to err and disorder the way of your paths. But now the Lord shall assist his people to judgment, and he shall enter into judgment with the elders of the people and the princes thereof. But why have you burnt up my vineyard? And why is the spoil of the poor found in your houses? Why do you wrong my people and put to shame the countenance of the humble? Again, in other words, the same prophet spoke to the same effect. Woe unto them that draw their iniquity as with a long cord, and their transgressions as with the harness of an heifer's yoke, who say, Let his speed come near, and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel come, that we may know it. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put light for darkness, and darkness for light, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto those that are mighty among you, who drink wine, who are men of strength, who mingle strong drink, who justify the wicked for a reward, and take away justice from the righteous. Therefore, as the stubble shall be burnt by the coal of fire, and utterly consumed by the burning flame, their root shall be as wool, and their flower shall go up like dust. For they would not have the law of the Lord of Sabaoth, but despise the word of the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. And the Lord of Sabaoth was very angry, and laid his hands upon them, and smote them. And he was provoked against the mountains, and their carcasses were in the midst like dung on the road. And for all this, they have not repented, but their hand is still high. For verily your hand is high to commit evil, because you slew the Christ, and do not repent of it. But so far from that, you hate and murder us who have believed through him in the God and Father of all as often as you can, and you curse him without ceasing, as well as those who side with him, while all of us pray for you and for all men as our Christ and Lord taught us to do, when he enjoined us to pray even for our enemies and to love them that hate us and to bless them that curse us.